in sport, things haven't... ...favourites were su successful. Frank Stockdale scored a double, thereby outriding his three kilo claim, while Western Frontier made it three wins in a row. The first race on the card was won by 10 to 1 chance Bay Stinger in a successful first outing with Gary Willits on board. The favourite Sir Fawn was far too good in the second, Michael Clark coming away in the home straight. In the third at the dock, starting as 2 to 1 favourite, made it two wins in a row. Now onto the first leg of the quadrilla. Five wide round the turn where Cludos had ranged up and hit the front from Flying Pearl Appleby Fair. Tango Master, no tequila. Cludos in front of Tango Master, wearing him down then, no tequila. But Tango Master's taken the lead on the outside. And Tango Master's one of the half hit Cludos and a nose, no tequila third. So Tango Master scoring at eight to one with the favourite Appleby Fair, never a chance. The feature race of the day was the Coca-Cola Handicap. Prince Murphy turns for home on Gallipoli Prince by two. Tim and I's just dying on his run a little bit and then Zaz Rab and it's Gallipoli Prince, the Moody Valley specialist, seven out of 11. Gallipoli Prince wins it by two lengths, Tim and I's, and third is Zaz Rab and they will follow. Gallipoli Prince certainly fancies the course, winning again this time after another spell. Now to race six. Show going to second. Forgotten Ruler struggling, then Lambourne Star, but Western Frontier with 100 metres to go, is holding Pepper Show at bay, and then Lambourne Star and Western Frontier all the way again. Western Frontier wins it by a length and a half. Pepper Show, Garapina third, Lambourne Star. Western Frontier continuing a fine stretch, making it three in a row, and a good one for the punters. Race seven was the last leg of the quadrilla. Taken the lead from Beat the Best, Sir Jupiter running on. Then Light Show, it's Dowie just in front. Sir Jupiter grabs him. Sir Jupiter's taken the lead now and he's drawing away from a wall of horses. Sir Jupiter first, scores by a length. I'd say Bo has run second, third very close. Uh, Light Show beat... Sir Jupiter made it third time lucky, breaking through for a win after twice collecting second prize money. The unplaced favourite was Dowie. Little Taj and Fortez battle down the home straight in the last with a six to one chance collecting the money. Favourite Table Habits failed to run a place. On to the daily double where numbers two and three paid $18.60. The extra double two and one returned $19 even. The quadrilla for the numbers one, two, one and three was 573.80. And those who picked the quad extra fared a little better. Two, one, three and nine returned $594.95. And a big race meeting on the Gold Coast today saw the running of the Magic Million for Colts and Geldings. We pick up the last 400 metres. One deep, he's just the leader. Thegra on the rail. Trustful moving up three wide. Noble Yates four wide. Whiskey bid five wide before the turn. Then quick score, Mr Broadway, Mighty Boy, pre-record, followed by Famous Arch, Mr Faithful, and then God Sentry as they turn the corner. St Jude led into the straight, Thegra's on the rail, Noble Yates went up three deep, and then Trustful and Mr Broadway. St Jude in front at the 250, Noble Yates joined him, Thegra gone, quick scores in the clear, St Jude in front, Noble Yates trying to get him, Trustful on the outside, and quick score coming at St Jude, St Jude in front, Trustful coming. Cutting him down, St Jude, Trustful, St Jude's won it. St Jude has beaten Trustful, quick score third. St Jude scoring at 9-1 to one in an open betting race with the unplaced favourite number one Noble Yates starting at 7-2. On to Athletics now.